Uh, you're probably not able to see it properly, but if I zoom in a wee bit and kind of focus, uh, that's the moon. What better backdrop than a lovely moon? Okay, for real though. One thing that I am very much so an advocate of is travel. I love to travel whenever I get the opportunity. Uh, whenever it arises, I simply grasp onto it real tight with two hands, uh, whether it's abroad or in the country. I love just seeing new places, meeting new people and experiencing new things. One of the best pieces of advice I could offer to young people, people of my age, is to travel. Uh, I seen a quote recently and it went something along the lines of, the world is a book and if you stay in only one country, you read only one page. That's a pretty awesome quote, basically sums up what I'm trying to say. But if you choose not to travel, I mean, different folks, different strokes. I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong, you know, you do you. But I'm a massive fan of travel. I am very lucky to be very well traveled at my age. Um, recently I was in a country that people were very less fortunate to me. In Africa, I was in Zambia for a while. But that's a video for another story. But it's definitely something that has made me aware of my place in the world. And recently I was very lucky to travel to a place that did exactly that, made me aware of my place, not just in the world but in history. I was in Krakow, Poland for four days and on that trip I got to visit Auschwitz, the concentration camp. I managed to visit the city, take a look at some of the history and have a wonderful time. Uh, I'm going to have to go now because the light's kind of fading, I don't think you can see me anymore. Um, but I took all that footage from my trip and I put it into a vlog for you guys and I hope you enjoy. Take away from this video, travel. Get out more, see the world, read the book that is Earth. Maybe that's kind of cringy, I don't know. Anyway, roll, roll the intro. Day two of our trip to Poland, welcome to the Krakow camp. We are about to do the salt mines, but first, we need to take a stop off and have a wee lemonade. Uh, I'm considering getting a professional studio light. These are pretty awesome. All the mirrors here in Poland come with these lovely lights on the side of them. I think it's pretty cool. It makes me look slightly less ugly than I actually am. guided tour. Uh, we're going to check out some interesting locations and let's do that. Uh, this is Corpus Christi, a really awesome church here in Krakow and this is a cage behind us that was used to house people who broke the sixth commandment, those who committed adultery. And every Saturday and Sunday while mass was on, they'd throw these guys in here where no one could see them and that would be the crime if you broke the sixth commandment. This gate behind me here, this is a very famous gate. This is Oskar Schindler's gate at his factory here in Krakow, Poland. And some of the streets that we passed, some of the streets that we drove down were used in the film as well. So, so this street was filmed in Schindler's List? Exactly. There, near Popper Synagogue, near this building of Rubinstein. Wow. A 15th century. Synagogue. 15th, yeah. This one is a 15th century. 15th century. Do it, man. Go for it. Okay, so police, let's go. But we will be faster. <laughs> Crack of Cam, we are dedicating this entire day to the Auschwitz experience and we are about to board a bus to head to the camp. An hour and a half here. It's gonna be sad, it's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be interesting. <music> So we 
went and got something to eat and now I think the plan is to go shopping. No, de deadly serious. I think there's a shopping centre somewhere here. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh my god. Holy shit. What the fuck? Just look how many birds there are. Pigeons. Pigeon man. I'll go to try and pet one. Crazy. Day four of the Krakow Cam, our final day here in Poland. And to finish off the trip, I wanted to come to some place special. After having been to Auschwitz, having seen the historical side of the town, visiting Schindler's factory, um, I wanted to finish off by coming to another historical place. This was ghetto, where the Germans isolated Jews and segregated them, but it was incredibly overcrowded. In this square alone, the number of shootings, executions, floggings, atrocities, that occurred uh, are indescribable and each chair here is supposed to represent the furniture that was thrown out of the windows behind me in the buildings when the liquidation of the ghettos occurred. It was to represent a thousand Jewish people each that were murdered or executed. I thought it was an appropriate place to come and say goodbye so I wanted to come here and offer my respect to all the people in Poland who perished as a result of World War II and to commemorate those who committed acts of bravery in those troubled times and who had the righteousness to stand up for what they believed in in a very dangerous time. Your legacy will live on as long as possible and serve as a reminder to future generations that the events that occurred in World War II and the atrocities that were committed must never be repeated. Thank you.